Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. I just wanted to show you a little something that I'm working on at the moment. I have made the whole top shelf here, all Batman. I got all the figures together and decided to try and just put them all in one big row. Just so uh change it up a little bit. I had to put the Batman that became the Joker, the joke that killed, down here. Because I did have them up here originally, but it was just too cramped. I needed a little bit of space between each box, so unfortunately... That particular Batman had to go down here, but it's okay. He's with the rest of the Jokers and stuff. Superman's pose has changed a little bit. Pretty sweet. So I'll just show you how that's looking. We might have a look at that in a minute, but this video is really just to show all the Batman figures in one row. Uh, most recent addition is this head sculpt of Bruce Wayne from 16kit.com. I uh, repainted the hair black. Looks really nice really good quality there's a review on the channel so go ahead and check it out if you want to see more just makes that figure that much more awesome i'm gonna start down the end here there's the end bay batman begins i love looking at it from this particular angle just a really awesome side profile really cool thick neck on the cowl it's my favorite bat suit and you have the futura batman and the batman hush one six scale figure much more of a comic book look so the proportions are way more exaggerated and over here we have my pretty heavily modified dawn of justice hot toys batman figure that's uh, unreal customs cape on him got him looking really sweet and over here we have the batman returns hot toys batman with a jackson xu custom cape the stock cape that came with him was absolutely awful so you really need you know you need to get yourself a custom cape for this guy either from unreal customs or jackson xu and we saw him the arkham knight batman Let's just make sure we don't step on ruby and here we have the battle damaged armored batman a piece that i really do like all battle damaged up and Battle worn from his fight with Superman. Really cool piece. And over here, the Demon Batman, a figure not many people own, I don't think. I mean, certainly don't see it in many collection videos. I do every now and then. I did the custom cape myself as velvet and uh, rips and burns. You can see how the fire kind of melted the velvet there. Very cool looking. Just an awesome piece from my favorite Batman film. Absolutely awesome. Can't even believe to this day that they actually went there and showed, you know, Batman in this kind of form. Such a dark film. All about fear. Yep, that's the demon. And over here we have another heavily modified figure. This is the Hot Toys uh, Arkham City Batman. I repainted the blue parts black and got a Jackson XU cape for him. So I repainted the figure and put on the custom cape. Love the way the cape kind of drapes on the ground like that. Really nice. And over here we have the Nightmare Batman from Dawn of Justice. Absolutely sick piece. One of my favorite figures, full stop. That's one hell of a figure right there. Absolute classic. Can't see anyone getting that and being disappointed in any way, shape or form. His hands pop off pretty easy, but, you know, small price to pay for something this awesome. And over here we have the, I was going to say the DX, what is it, DX02 maybe? Or maybe, no, 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 DX08 or 09, I forget which one it is now, it's been a long time, but this is the Michael Keaton 1989 Batman. And I have a custom cape on that one, sometimes I forget who makes which cape, it's been a while, so I just know that cape is a custom one. And over here... We have the clean version of the Armored Batman from Dawn of Justice with a custom mouth plate, with just a straight face, and that was got from 1-6 Kit. And that's the Kryptonite Spear that actually comes with the Battle Damage version. It's just I have the clean version holding it. He's a sick piece too. And over here, we have the one fourth scale Dark Knight Rises Batman by Hot Toys. Eagerly awaiting them to release the Batman Begins. Did I say Begins? I think I did. Batman Begins version is coming out soon. And I'm getting it and I'll do a video for you. Along with the Dark Knight Joker as well. 
A few little things have changed around on this side of the room as well. You'll see that the werewolf's changed pose and position. Freddy's changed his pose as well, and just changing things up. Well, um, got all Wolverine. Black Panther has gone back to the uh, facing away from us but looking back kind of pose. I just I don't think I'm going to be able to beat that one. As far as a pose that doesn't stress out the suit and has no risk of any damage over time, I think you can't really go wrong with this particular look. It just looks great from every angle. It has a lot of power to it. It doesn't even need to be facing us. Damn. Spider-Man's still looking the same. Going to need to change that up soon. And the uh, Deadpool 2 movie review just went up before this. And that's where I got that pose from. So, you know, Wade Wilson's no fool. As soon as he sees the good guy's doll, he pulls out the gun and it's like, Nope, sorry, not taking any chances. I've seen the movies. Deadpool. Nice little custom base there. But yep, that's the pose I'll be sticking with for a while. Makes me laugh. And uh, the big predator's up here at the moment just to kind of fill that space. Maybe when Luke Skywalker from Return of the Jedi by Hot Toys gets here tomorrow, I think. He might go here, and maybe I'll move these guys and put Vader and Luke side by side. But keep an eye on the channel, because I'll be unboxing Luke and reviewing it really soon. Uh, repainted him. Did a lot of repainting and weathering. The mask and all the armor. Such an amazing piece by NECA. Fantastic company out there in the USA. Such an accurate looking figure. And you've seen the Metal Gear uh, Solid stuff. You've seen... The Pop Toys Tomb Raider, which is, as you can see, just a fantastic looking piece. I mean, look at that. Absolutely awesome. Love that figure. And we have Dread. Got him back where he belongs. Beside Robocop. That's a whole lot of law enforcement right there. And you got the Terminators. And the Kotobuki, a big jab alien. Absolutely love that piece. And you've seen those two before. Nothing's changed there. And Michael Myers, Michael Myers, Michael Myers. Lots of Myers stuff. Perfect 78. With the Yunsen coveralls, dyed navy blue. Uh, some coat hangers, some knives. Uh, some more knives. Some Rob Zombie. Michael Myers, which you've seen already. If you know the channel, you're probably sick to death. <laughs> and uh, that stuff here. Hitman's looking good. And there's Vampirella. Here is my rehead Rob Zombie Myers by NECA, 1 4 scale. Absolutely love this piece. I love that film too. I love uh, this remake and I love the original. In fact, it's probably uh, that's the NECA Catwoman with the tweeter head base. But it's probably the Rob Zombie. Halloween film that I have to thank for getting me into the whole Halloween craze. Um, you know, that just happens to be the film that started the kind of obsession for me. So, fair play to Rob Zombie on that one. And over here, we have um, the other NECA 1 4 scale Myers from 1978. I redid the hair, sort of re sculpted it. Made it look a bit better, I think. There's a video on the channel, a bit more detail for you. So I did some work on that. There's the Hot Toys 1 4 scale endoskeleton. Still in the same pose as before, so I won't linger on that too long. And if you know the channel, you know about the one, the 1 1 scale, life size Myers. But yeah, just wanted to show you the Batman shelf. Batman Begins, man, look at that. I can't wait to compare this to the Hot Toys one. Because, I mean, just look at this one. Look at it. That thing is absolute perfection. And the company's motto was a, pa uh, a passion puff. Uh, I can't say it. <laughs> I'm in too much awe right now. But their motto was a passion for perfection. And they certainly lived up to that with this release. Right. There's Catwoman. Some tool. All right. There's the Batman shelf. Need to uh, do a video on these. I'm starting to have issues with my setup with the comics. It's a real shame, but they're starting to sag down from the weight over time. I'll tell you more about that another time, perhaps. But yep, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Keep an eye out on the channel for Hot Toys uh, Return of the Jedi Luke Skywalker coming real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.